that concludes our video on how to create a purchase order in SAP. Let's do a simple exercise. I have a couple of questions here. The first question being, give some examples of the search criteria to select vendor during PO creation. Remember when we created the PO, we have selected a vendor, right? And we have chosen Chicago as a search criteria. Now this question is asking you, what other search criteria do you have when you select the vendor? Second question is, what is the org data that's entered in the PO header? We have entered something like purchase org, purchase group. This question is asking you to list whatever you have entered in the purchase org data. The third question is, can you enter a zero quantity at the line item level? You know, we have entered a quantity of 100 or 10 for flower, right? Can you enter zero? If yes, what does it really mean? The fourth question is, what is the material number for hard wheat flour? So it's basically asking you to search for hard wheat flour and then give the material number. The fifth question is, so when you enter hard wheat flour, whatever that material number is, in plan 3100, it gives you an error message. So this question is asking you, what is the error message that you get? The sixth question is, use 3200 plant for this material and enter a price of $2 per pound and see what happens. All right, um, now let's try and answer these questions. The first question being, give some examples of the search criteria to select vendor during PO creation. So let's go and try and create a purchase order again. So go to logistics, Material management, purchasing, purchase order, and then create. And when you hit that create button, you'll be taken to the previous purchase order screen, meaning the purchase order that you've previously created. And when you click on this button, that's when you're asking the system to create another purchase order. So click on this button, and then it opens up a blank screen for you. Go there and select your vendor. So what are the search criteria we have? We can search by city, which we have done previously, Chicago. We can search by name. We can search by postal code. And we can also search by country. So you can go and put in US, Canada, Mexico, you know, for a multinational company, the vendor could truly be anywhere. And then you could um, search by, let's see, what are the other search criteria we have? Um, we could also search by address, right? So these are all the search criteria that we have, right? So let's go and answer that question. So give some examples of the search criteria to select vendor during PO creation. Uh, the answer for that is you have city, which we have used already. We have zip code. We have name. We have vendor number. So on and so forth. Second question, what is the org data that's entered in the PO header. Now we have entered three pieces of data in the header. Let me close this and select a previously selected vendor. Now, how did I get this drop down? What I've done is I have hit the backspace on the keyboard. Place your cursor on a field and then hit the backspace. When you hit the backspace, the system pulls down the list of previously entered values for that field. In this case, I've entered these list of vendors. So I've select 1222, which is the latest vendor. 
And then the question here is, what is the data that we have entered in the org data? So this thing that you see here is called org data. You know, you don't see the data word here, but it's org data. So we have entered three fields here, purchase org, purchase group, company code. So purchase org, purchase group, company code. Don't worry if you don't understand these things. We're going to learn about this in the next set of chapters. The third question is, can you enter a zero quantity at the line item level? Let's see. So let's enter some purchase org. And then again, you know, I've entered the material for flower here, right? So how do I pull it? I do a backspace on my keyboard and then it lists up a whole bunch of materials. I select BP 401 because that's the one that I've entered. And over here, let me put a quantity of zero. Okay. And hit OK. And then say it says enter plant. So where is our plant? Remember, you have to scroll to the right. Same thing here. Do a backspace. Select 3100. And it says enter a quantity. That means that it does not allow a quantity of zero. That means that you always have to enter an order quantity. All right, what's the next question? So can you enter a zero quantity? The answer is no. What is the material number for hard wheat flour? Let's go search. So instead of this material, BP401, we're going to search for hard wheat flour. Star flour. Hit enter. And then this is hard wheat flour. So it's CP dash FD1105. Now, it doesn't matter what that material number is. The reason why we have that question is so that you can practice some things on an SAP practice system. Okay, what is the error message you receive when you enter hard wheat flour for plant 3100? All right, let's see that. So, enter, right? And then we want to enter a quantity of, say, 100. For which plant? 3100. 3100. Click OK. It says material not maintained for plant. We will look at more details on this error message a bit later. But for now, just understand that you cannot enter any material for any plant. Think of this scenario. Not all materials are created or manufactured in all plants, right? Some plants manufacture some materials or some plants store some materials while other plants store other kinds of materials. It also depends on the facilities available at that plant. All right, let's move on. So use plant 3200 for this material and enter a price of $2 per pound. So instead of 3100, the question asks us to enter 3200 and then enter some price, right? It gives you a warning. Order quantity violates rounding rules. There is something called as a rounding rule. Let's not get into that. And you just hit enter and that warning is gone. But it still shows you that there are warnings for that line item. You can always click this and see what are the warning messages for that line item. If you want to see the overall messages, you can hit this button. Right? So use plan for 3200. The PO goes through. All 
All right. So those are the answers to our first exercise. Let's move on to the next chapter.